So why did you guys end up leaving the Joe Budden situation like a year later? Like what, what, what led to that? Um, Because we did what we needed to do. We got what we needed to get out of the situation. So it wasn't because it was a toxic workplace environment? It was no. you got I'm not a better gonna lie. offer or what? The, the team no. and what the, the like... The, the people on the JBN are phenomenal. Like, we still, yeah, like we're our, in group chats. We still talk. The we production, clearly didn't get them in the everybody divorce. Everybody was dope. Like, everybody everyone, was great. Everyone, a part of it was so dope. But in terms of, and again, not to toot my own horn, I'll be honest with you again. Um, in working and having conversations with Charlemagne, with Joe, with the 85 South team and their network, seeing what you built over here with your own network, with Andrew Schultz, I feel as though... What there was to be offered wasn't enough for where we were. And to be fair with what you talked about, about Joe and why he's been able to really, really, really um, catapult in the space is because of the 20 years he had. Right. However, what works for Joe does not work for two women newly into this space. And right. Joe doesn't like advertising dollars. And the mm. way in which we look at CPMs and ad space and all those things, yeah. Joe's model doesn't work for maybe the newcomer. Joe's model doesn't work for someone who maybe doesn't have a built-in audience. Right. Like, right. And we're not, the, we're not the love and hip-hop audience. We're not the R&B songstress. This is not a show that talks about sex. So right. our built-in audience is... I mean, we talk about all of it, if we're being honest. We, 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 we do, we, we we do but... It wasn't to the space to where it's like, okay, so we're just going to wait for the million dollar ad right. buy. No. And and so in terms of all of us going in as partners, it didn't seem to work overall as a partnership. And, and to be honest, the fact that we were able to leave with everything that we that we oh, built. Like, that's why it's such a <gasps> shiesty ass <gasps> lick right there. Ooh, you Don't gotta do respect shiesty. it. Don't do shiesty. It's Don't do shiesty. It's shiesty. Don't do shiesty. Don't do shiesty. Don't do shiesty. Because I know that that's nah. what it looks like. Look, why Adam is, is ready. Shiesty? Adam it's is smart. ready. Adam is ready. Let him talk. Let Adam talk. Talk. is ready. Let him talk. Talk your shiesty shit. I'm just gonna say, if there's anybody out there, this take notes from these two ladies because it's shiesty season. They pull up to a YouTube channel that has a big audience. They build their IP on that platform. They, in, in return, hand over no ownership of that IP to the person who owns that platform. They get a good, good start, build up an audience. Then they go look into these corporations and they say, hey, who's got the biggest bag? Oh, you? Okay, I'll fuck with you. Boom. Then you get paid. I mean, we're not even there yet. I mean, we are negotiating, but we're not We're there. negotiating, but we're not there yet. Right. We weren't there. That however, was, however but also, I, I get how hold that on. looks. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. But I respect look, the fuck out no, of No, no, yeah. fuck out. Fuck not you, not Adam. But to be, go ahead. To be, to be, to be very, <laughs> to be very clear, part of the vision initially and everything that Joe fucking preaches is ownership. Exactly. That's what he's always preached. He which, used which his own game. Us, I turned it right which back for on us, him. Which for us, not even turn it back on him. We didn't. We we didn't we didn't we didn't turn it back on him. He he honored he he did right by what we were what we said we were set out to do, which right. was the the initial idea. Because again, Mandy and I, even though I'm new to the podcast space, I'm not a nobody that you just picked up off the street. Right. So she and came with her own following. So I we came kinda, with mine. So yeah. we were we're able. We know what the what the what the the growth potential is for us on our own. Own, mm. And we could have, we probably could have launched it on our own if we really wanted to. Considering, I mean, we didn't. Can I be honest? You know, you stop me from being honest. You could be honest. I didn't I stop you from being honest. You I'm not gonna stop today. you, however. I already <laughs> warned you. I already told you. Adam ain't editing edits. shit out. They don't do edits. Neither does Love and <laughs> so, Hip Hop, bitch. So here I'm we just are. Being honest. Look, <laughs> I'm just being honest. Go so, ahead and be honest. No, we didn't. Mandy and I, Mandy and I ourselves, made, we 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 make more money and saw more money individually in this last year from what we do outside of the podcast than what we made in the podcast in this last year. So, and and I think a lot of that really did have to do with the fact that we. We also took a risk in aligning with somebody that had the past that he had. Mm -hmm. And in knowing that as women, we put ourselves in that situation, we were both, we, we all took a risk. We all, we all put, we all put our, we all put our, we all put our, our chips in. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I think within it, within mm -hmm. a year, we all realized too, in order for this to really take flight the way that we all want it to take flight and really cat and, and really be leveraged the way it needs to be leveraged. We can't necessarily be attached to and stifled by anything that, that Joe has going on personally, but also the, 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 he wasn't opposed to. That's why I say it's not. It's not really us against him because he wasn't opposed to letting to, to. You know what I'm saying? Letting us fly, letting us do our thing because that's what we. That was the purpose in the very beginning. The purpose was always partnership. It was. It was never for us to be. Oh, this is Bridget and Mandy that are under Joe. Nah, it just, yeah, a bitch wasn't an employee. We weren't so, employees. So, so when we really talk about that shit too, I think that that's even with with me and my other pot, like owning IP, but creatively we showed up, but. It was always from talk, like we're all partners, in which in which yeah. is where we're at now. There was a conversation to 
if one of us leaves, this is this no longer exists. So in order for our negotiations, which did, which did take months, by the way, months. to to leave, Many, it's and, like a divorce. It, it, it was a divorce, but it was to where it made sense for both parties. Mm. Right, and and so on the back end, it makes sense for both parties. But he allowed us and believed in us to know that what we have and what we've created and the viewership that was leveraged with him can go beyond the attachment to him as well. Right. How much of it was you guys being ride or die, Rory and Maul's soldiers? We weren't. I'll be, I, can I be honest with you now? Because mm. you still um, fuck with them, right? But like, I mean, we, we, we do, a lot of people chose sides, what, right? You, well, not only chose sides. I mean, I think that there was a there was a whole conflict of interest in business because they 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 did their podcast out of my other co-host's studio. Mm. And so when it all came down, I'm showing up every Monday with the JBN and it looked crazy. Yeah. So much so to where I changed my number because everyone that was hitting me <laughs> up, everyone that was hitting me up wanted to know all the drama and wanted to know all the juice, yeah. wanted to know all the beef. No one checked on my mental health, which is probably why I'm in therapy now. And in terms of what that looked like- I did. It, you did, but in terms She's of even what that looked we live, like, we live around the corner from each other. Well, that's a business move for you. You got to keep her happy. Well, it's that true. too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy, like, oh, happy, bitch, happy work wife, I'm happy like, work I'm life. Like, oh, bitch, there's a lot going on here. We got a lot of money in the in exactly. The, but, but in terms of that, to be honest with you, I think well, I didn't speak to Rory or Maul for six, seven months. I would say, yeah. like, my number was changed and they didn't have it, and I felt so awful. But in terms of where I felt like my best interest right which is why i said i'm a selfish being and i think a lot of men get credit in that space for being that and not so much women right but adam i was selfish as fuck and i said okay well i'm still rocking with you i'm still on the jbn let me separate myself from whatever drama there is i don't want to be caught in the middle and i think that that's what even what it was yeah i stayed very neutral even between charlemagne and joe's beef mm -hmm. like i signed with them a month apart right and and Fuck anyone who doesn't like me in this space. Don't no other woman has the 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 sense of this space to say both of the two top people wanted to work with them outside of Ebony K. Williams. And that's because she was on State of the Culture with Revolt with Joe. And she's also signed to the Black Effect Network. But in terms of where we land in this space, eh, niggas ain't really trying to fuck with us. But I was <laughs> I I did not speak to Rory or Ma and I had to kumbaya with Rory. Months later, like this is I why I talk to everybody throughout. Okay, I don't give she a fuck. did I, because I, I don't play I, that shit. I separate at the, at the end of the day. For me, the only way that business and friendship works is is is, is as long as one 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 relationship success is not contingent and dependent on the other. One mm -hmm. can't lean on the other. Like Mandy and I can be friends and be in business because I know I'm going to be successful with or without Mandy. Mandy knows she can be successful with or without me. So we're able to be friends because if the business dissolves, we can still be friends. My life, my life, and my livelihood is not attached to anything she got going on, and vice yep. versa. Yep. So that's where that's where the mutual respect exists and lies. So I operate with everybody else that way. I don't I'm not picking sides because I don't have no I don't have no dog in the fight. It's so, interesting because when I was talking to Wheezy, she made it clear that you and her are not best friends. We're not. That you have a relationship, you have no. a business relationship, but that it's it's different. Like I mean, are, I, are you guys similar? Or are you more no, like I mean, homies? I'll be honest with you. I so I, I just spoke on this on another pod, but that's where Therapy this year has been really interesting for me because I have the most money I've ever had in my life and everything that I wanted as far this as... subtle flex has been brought to you. Yeah, nah. I, oh, a bitch is rich. Um, <laughs> you spend look, a lot of mental look, energy listen, thinking look, about no, no, not listen. being braggy? No, 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 I don't because she okay. I, I grew up in poverty. No, there's no ounce I grew of her single, that does not want to be braggy. Not single parent yeah. household and I think the, the minimization of black women living in their luxury and fucking busting their ass. Like, I busted my ass in this space. If you look at Horrible Decisions five years ago... My nigga, I used to edit the audio. Right. I was writing the description. I was posting it. Before we signed to any fucking network, I was still doing all of that shit. If you sit here and we talk about the ads of what podcasts are worth, next 60, guess what I did? As an accountant, I had my Excel sheet and I was sending invoices at 60 days, okay? Like, because if you don't sit here and ask for your money, you're not going to get your fucking that's money. Correct. And right. that's what the fuck I did. In terms of that situation, I, again, outside of making money, being in a situation where not only we were friends, I fucking love her and respect her. And I think that that was something different. Mm -hmm. Weezy and I are not friends, but we have a business that supersedes us i like how i suggested that you aren't best friends you said we're not even friends we that's are, crazy to me like all don't the dudes do that. i podcast with i don't know if i could really do it if we weren't also like in the group chat and, and all guess day what and she shit. said get a guest 
Yeah. Get a yeah. guest. We, we we talk to the guests. I mean, in terms of what she's been able to create outside of me is amazing. I've clearly done a lot of things outside of her. And I think that, again, in terms of what our friendship was, um, we were friends as teenagers. Right. We stopped being friends for five years. Three weeks after rekindling a friendship because we were like, oh, we're adults. Mm-hmm. We're in different spaces. We started this pod. By episode six... We were already at each other's throats. However, I think our pride and ego kept us to where everyone around us. We we had a king, uh, uh, R.I.P. Con- Combat Jack, but we had Combat. loud loudspeaker. She loved uh, Andrew Schultz, Charlemagne. We had we were on their view, um, and we just got the respect really early to where I think our egos and and pride kept us at doing it. And now it's like. They well, making fuck. too much money. They're not going to leave. They, it, it's, it's literally like, it, like, like, like to the point where I don't <laughs> it's know. So much money. It's like, like I don't nope, know. We're going to thug this I, out. I, I don't know <laughs> if y'all know. I mean, I don't know. Of course, fully Destiny Child or or fucking uh, any group ever. Any group ever. <laughs> yeah. But like, we literally travel. We don't take the same flights. We don't stay in the same hotel. We see each other on stage, and it's which we is don't phenomenal. take the same flights. That's a real level of keeping your shit separate, right we, there. No, we keep it, uh, but friends, everything stays separate. You fly private. She takes spirit. Don't do that. Ooh, shit. <laughs> actually, actually <laughs> no. not. She bullshit. She like Delta One. I'm like, mm, I'll do Are my you guys Delta Comfort. <laughs> for who could have the better seat? I'll, 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 I'll do Imagine. my Delta Comfort. No, that's some real girl no, shit. No, right actually, there, man. I, I mean, I grew up in poverty. As long as I get a free drink, I sleep. Mandy, fight anyways. No, Mandy um, is not as braggadocious as she is. Mandy is cheap. Yeah, yeah Mandy. I, I Mandy will be. Too. Mandy and I will both be like, "Well, bitch, we just got we just got thirteen thousand from this. You want to do? No, we can coach. We we just gonna fly and coach. It's yeah, okay. I'll be like, I'll be like, like girl, we need to keep that in the business account. I'm I'm very big on that. But in terms of what we have now, no, it's completely different. Right. Yeah, uh, which I love, but. I'm also acknowledging my growth to where I don't have to talk about, yeah, I sucked this nigga dick and ate his ass and mm. Mm, I love booty hole. Mm. Like, I can talk to her. I can talk to her about. Not the sound effects. I, I can talk to her. Mm, That's uh, gross. Jesus. All right. I, I'm sorry. ASMR. Right. I'm sorry. I, I can talk to her about my journey in therapy. I can talk to her about leaving my corporate job and taking this on full time. I can talk about a relationship where me and my partner are figuring things out as my first relationship in my life. Like there's a lot of things that I'm able to do with someone that I love and care about, but also someone that receives me for who I am on a platform where every fucking week I'm vulnerable. And it's a little harder um, with someone that you don't see outside of work. Right. Like, look at it as a as a coworker. Like, if you are going to your job, you probably work and see some of your coworkers more than you see your family members. However, mm. even if you don't like that person, guess what? You gotta you gotta show up and be like, "How was your weekend?" Not mm. that you give a fuck about their weekend, <laughs> but hey, how's how's life? How's how's your partner? How's your weekend going? And I think that we and I have have been able to do that so well in the sense of you've mastered it we we also know that the brand and the things that we bring are beyond our 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 ability to not really be friends but like when we go on live tours and we meet our fans and they're like oh my god you changed my life and you changed my sex life and because of you i we just had in dc someone say they didn't commit suicide because they wanted to come to our live show and so to to feel as though that we reach people in that way it's it's bigger than y'all it's bigger than us at this point 